Till vi ser Naruto. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Boston Championship. Beautiful day here at the TPC Boston in Norton, Massachusetts. This is the site of the Deutsche Bank Championship, part of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo. And a fun golf course uh, in front of us today too. Really uh, carved out of this wonderful New England landscape. 92 bunkers adorn the golf course and uh, well, we are in New England. So you'd expect a little bit of weather. We might get a little bit of rain, maybe a little bit of wind, but golf course built and certainly plays well in any condition. We're ready to go. Off to the first hole. Frank, you've been there so many times, really nothing like the first tee of a brand new championship. Uh, the thought of the unknown, the beauty of sport, you and the golf course. Doesn't get any better, Rich. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Strong winds continue to be a factor. Frank, I know you've played all over the world. How much did you enjoy the challenge of playing into a stiff breeze? Well, it was a chance to separate yourself from the rest of the field, Rich. Um, just like these conditions we're seeing right now, um, you've really got to be smart. Pick the right shot. If you get too aggressive on a day like today, um, you'll pay a far more severe price than normal. Club selection obviously is crucial. Oh, it's imperative today. Take an extra club or two, choke down. Very much so. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Trying to move on with a par in his pocket. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, they renovated the par five second back in 2010. What'd they do to the hole and, and how does it play now? Well, they changed the green, especially the left side. There's a huge mound there now. It's still a driver off the tee, but before you could bail out on the left side, you can't bail out anymore. It's a devilish of a chip over that mound. Those chocolate drop mounds give the course a really nice look. Yeah, they just pop. And uh, you can see them <laughs> and you know that they're, uh, they're problematic. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Second shot. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up, it's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Really? This is an awkward length. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Still playing even for the day after the par. Hole number three here at TPC Boston. It is a par three. Frank, are you happy walking off with par here? Well, if you've birdied the first two holes, there's a chance here to be greedy. Yeah. 
Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Locked in on the read and the speed. A birdie to send him to one under on the leaderboard. All right, Frank, chance to flex the muscles now. Drivable par four. Yeah, only 287 yards to that front right of the green. Uh, just under 300 yards all up. Really, if you can't drive the ball on the green, the front bunker's not bad or just over the back on the right, but well worth a go. Well, it is nice to have that one in your bag to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. That's a big green. Just managed to get it smack bang in the middle of it. Not a gimme, but well within his range. He'll take par and move on. Back on the tee here at the fifth, Frank, this one is not drivable. Oh, that's for sure. Two bunkers. Uh, the, the one that the most of the players really worry about is the one down the left side. 300 yards to carry that. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. In this shot, he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, the TPC boss really starts to show its teeth here in the fifth hole. Yeah, beautiful hole. That green up ahead, though, there's three different sections. Obviously, the easy section is that middle one where it just pokes out to the left. Oh, this is straight at it. That's a really good line. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. He has this for a birdie. Frank's starting to make the move. Leaderboard very volatile at the moment, so a lot of move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. Good contact, good result. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. Yeah. Should be safely on deck. <laughs> Terrific golf shot, and now that for an easy birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Good job right there. Now making a move and setting himself up for, who knows, a good weekend run, maybe at another title. The former college standout has been excellent today. He's going for a little extra. Excellent looking shot here. Smoke that one. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good.
That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up and getting ready for the putt. Well, that may have gotten the leader's attention into the top ten with an eagle. They had to have heard that roar. Hole number eight now, 213 yards in length, a par three. And Frank, what can we expect? Really narrow at the front of this green. A lot of mounding. Ball normally kicks towards the left. One place you don't want to go, though, is that left bunker. The bunker shot's all downhill from there. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. tie for the lead with that birdie and a pep in the stride Frank I love a hot dog and a soda at the turn how hard is it to take a giant bite out of this ninth hole looks tough it is uh, everything sort of bends where those two bunkers are and that's sort of 350 yards to get past that and there's an annoying little bunker that's about 30 yards short of this green so uh, you have to be precise with both the first and the second shot now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. I like the looks of this one. Strong approach shot here at the ninth. A good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie. This is a nine footer. Makes birdie continuing to amaze on the greens, Frank. Putted well all day, Rich. Uh, had a couple of good holes early on and just, I think, found the groove. Has taken it to another level. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know. It's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Rich, that tee shot there has shortened up this hole considerably. It's made a tough par four into, well, we'll see. But it looks like a very birdieable hole now. Hit it right where you want. Now he has a good chance to attack that hole location. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Frank, here at the 11th, that is a massive bunker guarding the front right side of this green. And every now and again, a tee shot plugs in there, making that second shot just absolutely horrible. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh. 
Oh, I thought he had that. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. Uh, you're not going to birdie every hole. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Twelfth hole now, looking at 461 yards on this par four. It doesn't look like there's much trouble off the tee, and that's because the trouble's with the second shot. That has it to the right of this green. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Hmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Looks like it's going to find the target. That will be a great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Putting up some impressive numbers out here now. Nine under for the tournament. And another par four here at the 13th TPC Boston. This is a slug as paradise. Plays much longer than its 450 yards uphill. Big carry with the tee shot. That second shot's not exactly short either. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. Second shot, good look at the green. Stuck the follow through right there, this could be really good. That is professional with a capital P right there. That's stealing. Back here at the par 4, 14, ready to tee off. This is a big dog leg to the left. 495 yard hole, Frank. Yeah, don't try and hug that left side too much. There's a bunch of little mounds and the chances of getting a good lie there, next to none. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Really has not been bothered all day long by these strong winds. Good play so far. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot.
Couldn't have done much better than that. The eagle is very possible. Frank, how rare would this be if this putt drops? Well, this is, this is uh, I'd like to say once in a lifetime, but on the odd occasion, we do see back-to-back -back eagles, but it certainly is something to watch. All right, Frank, we're teed up at the 15th, and a lot to talk about with your caddy on this tee shot. Yeah, which club, which line, series of bunkers down the left, that one short right doesn't really come into play. Another one, really, fairway first. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Good looking shot right here. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at birdie. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Frank, here at the 16th, you really see this sort of New England character, don't you? Yeah, that stone wall now protects that sort of two-tiered green. And uh, it, it, it sort of showcases the golf course. It, it just fits in beautifully with what Hans and Faxon have done to the golf course. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. These putts keep the round together. Mark and Birdie on the card. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing a the lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church keys that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's gonna get. There's gonna be no worries about making that one. Standing over his birdie putt. Always love to hear the sound of the bottom of the cup. Frank, the 18th year at TPC Boston, for whatever reason, generates quite a bit of buzz, doesn't it? It, it does. The longer hitters, obviously, they lick their chops. They're having a chance to, uh, to make this green in two. But if you find one of the fairway bunkers, the addition of that pot bunker um, for the layup, that just <laughs> makes that decision that much more difficult. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Second shot.
Repetitive is often what sounds boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Frank, I thought that was in. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Just a couple of feet. That finds the bottom of the cup. We'll call that a birdie. So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from tee to green. It's not easy to come out of the gates like that. Naruto, over and out.